Hello guys, this is Momo and today I would like to help you how to migrate from Matrix 9 to Matrix Go. I get many questions every day from my friends, my colleagues, my students, and they ask me how to find comments in Matrix Go. And uh, for ones who uh, who get who used to work with Matrix 9, it's really difficult to find a command in Matrix Go. So uh, I'm sure after watching this video, you can you would love Matrix Go and you will love it, and you can find your command easily because the way that I would teach you, you will love Matrix Go interface. Okay, is really easy. As you know, Matrix Go interface change a lot and. Uh, Sometimes it's or sometimes is uh, uh, the users find it difficult to reach the command and run it. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, let me talk about Matrix Code interface, and I want to uh, introduce Matrix Code interface completely for you. Okay, so is this, we start with Matrix Code icon that you can find uh, on, uh, you can find uh, on top of uh, the screen okay so when you click on that you will see four main uh, four main uh, uh, names okay file edit view and help that in file you can do any things about your file you can make a new open you can save it you can save a small save as and uh, go on okay import export and you can do something like that you will you will you will find edit that you can do undo redo okay cut copy paste view that you can control uh, your interface okay that we talk we will talk very soon uh, and help okay great and then you will see the uh, the most important part important parts that we call ribbon bar that we call ribbon bar okay this is the place that you can find all comments in metric school so if you want to find a command you have to go there okay and i will uh, i will show you later how to find the command okay so is a start with is a start with curve and then surface solid tools gems settings cutters transform clay your render view mesh dimension analyze uh, miss and manufacturing okay great and you know that if you if you want to find the command related to curves about creation or edit you have to go to the curve menu if you want to find a command related to surfaces and poly surfaces you have to go to surface menu surface commands okay uh and the same about the solids about the tools and uh something like that so solids related to the solids tools related to everything that uh gemvision company or solar company made it uh, for making uh, automatic commands, uh, for example, bypass ring, ring, outside ring grade, or ring grade text, uh, text on curve. Uh, and you notice one uh, uh, lighting, bolt com uh, lighting bolt icon uh, that this means it's parametric command. We talk about that later, okay? So the same about the gems, settings and uh cutters transform clay you render and some and these kind of menus okay so you will find all your comments here great so and then we have quick comments okay quick comments on uh on the left the the, the left uh, 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 in left side you will see the quick comments you will see the projects you will see layers you will see display modes okay on the right on the right we have recent commands we have dynamic groups we have comm dynamic commands and we have properties the command bar moved down by, by, by the way you, uh, um, uh, you you can change it you can change in uh, preference we can change it i will show you and then we have viewport tabs that perspective top front right and we can add more layouts 
we have uh, word icon word uh, word access we have solid access and as you uh, you you can see here when we compare it to metrics 9 uh, in a minute we will see that we have some change in colors too okay we have a ring icon okay great and uh, also we have some information this is my status bar actually i uh, you, maybe you don't have it but i turned it on uh, in options okay so maybe you, you don't have it so i don't explain about that so we go here uh, the metric school version the project name as you can see 2656 uh, the file name and timer and we have auto hide we have grid snap we have auto planner Oh, snap or object, object snap, project, smart track, gumball, and record history. Okay, great. So let's compare to Matrix 9. Okay, but before that, let me show you some things. If you want to move, if you want to play uh, with these tabs, you can do it. Okay, if you accidentally you delete all tabs on the left and on the right okay if you click on this x icon you can close it okay you just need to go to view and then uh, you can uh, turn them back okay you can bring them back just you need to click on dynamic commands you can click on display modes dynamic groups gym report if you need it if you don't want it okay layers uh projects uh properties panel uh, quick commands and uh, recent commands great and that's it okay this is by default very good so we can train them uh, we can bring them back okay great so let's compare to matrix matrix 9 okay as you can see uh, we have in matrix 9 we have the same so we have file edit view that we could find in matrix gold icon file edit view and help okay so they are the same it's here okay so file edit and view okay so we have here okay file edit but about the but about the view it's different okay this view is this view i will talk about that okay this view is the view is different and uh, i want to but but it's a kind of but that is mixed so you know that if you delete your if you delete uh your metrics nine uh pat uh, taps you need to go oh sorry you need to go to view again and you go to metrics menus and you reload it okay re re uh, you can reload it so everything we will come back again so uh, you can see this view is a combination of uh, metrics gold uh, metrics gold icon view and view main command okay and then we have curve as you can see curve surface okay curve surface solid the same okay so when i go here we have curve surface solid tools okay so this is the main commands they are actually they are the main commands that you can find but the, the only problem is in ribbon bar we have in a horizontal way with icon and names here we have vertical with icon and names okay but they are the same okay so we have icon history that i can remember because i forgot many um, um, many days i didn't work with my metrics nine uh, so i think you can find your seven or eight last command okay but if you click more you will lose uh, the earlier earlier ones okay but the good news is we have icon history they change to recent commands and in this part you can find in any number your x commands okay in any numbers it's very it can be one uh, it can be uh, you know 20 30 40 because it's big because you have a big space okay so if you want to move your uh, uh taps your panels you just need to go to black part and just and just move it up and down okay and just move it up and down easily okay 
so you can find the recent command. So as you know, in Icon History, just you need to click on uh, icons, okay? Or even you click here, okay? Uh, you can go to the curve and click online and find the command, and then you will have an Icon History. If you type the command, you couldn't find it here. Okay, here the same. If you click on curve, for example, line or polyline, you will find it here. If you click on freeform, you will find it here, okay? Easy, great. So this is about icon history. So we have improvements, okay? So it was very important because um, I want to reach my previous command faster. Great. So we have the main menus. What is the main menus? Actually in Matrix 9, the main menu is the, is the location of, is the place of the most useful uh, commands is a collection. It's a selection of uh, uh, the most useful command. For example, in current menu, uh, we have three floors. Okay, as you can see, we have three floors. So they are the most useful command in curve menu. But if we uh, refer to the the, uh, the the curve command, you we will find the commands that we cannot find in the main menu. So I can compare the main menu to quick commands, kind of, okay? Why? Because later on I will teach you, you can add all your most useful commands from the main menu to quick commands, and we can find it easily, okay? So maybe this place, that is the most important place, it's become it's is weird for you because in metrics 9 when you go to the curve menu you will find it when you go to the surface menu you will find it okay easy when you go to the solid you will find it but in metrics in metrics code because you have many comments uh, you don't have a selection part maybe maybe this is the weird part of the metrics code and uh, it's um, uh, it's, it's uh, you, you will you, you will find it difficult to reach to your to your desirable commands okay but I want to say that, for example, in curb menu, let me show you how to find your command easy, okay? So, for example, in curb menu, let me open my, where is, okay, in curb, uh, all, all metrics code menus start with parametric commands, okay? What does parametric means? It means that it's, uh, you can connect parts together and as soon as you click on this command, you will find it here in dynamic commands. You will have some options, okay? So they are parametric commands. So all the menus, all the main menus start with parametric first. And then, okay, two commands that we don't have a parametric option for that, the jelly and add profile, okay? But let me talk about that. This part that starts with polyline and ends with uh, spiral, they are creation commands, okay? So if you, want, if you want to create a command, you have to go to this part, okay? So it starts with polyline, line, freeform curve, smart curve, rectangle, polygon, circle, arc, lips, uh, probola, hyperbola, conic, and helix, and a spiral. So they are creation, okay? So if you want to create some things, so you have to go for that, okay? And after that, from extend, from extend to point cloud, they are, uh, okay, they are uh, uh, edit. Okay, say so our edit commands, they are modification, they are modify, okay? So maybe it's much more better that I move point, point, point object to the left, okay, before extend because the, it is creation too, okay? But at, because we have mark and mark start, something divide, okay, in point objects, we can encounter, we can, um, uh, we can find it in edit command, okay? But by default, it starts with extend curve and end with, uh, end with point cloud, okay? Point cloud. So 
Xen, I'm sure you know about that. Point object, you know about that. Clean up, they are they are they are the same uh, with the Rhino. So if you know about the Rhino main menus, you can find your commands much easier. Okay, when curve, offset curve. Okay, from to view and convert and from object okay so from object that you can you will find project pool many many useful commands edit tools okay edit tool that they are very important okay but i highly recommend if you like you can move them for example uh maybe after a spiral from objects they are very important and then edit tools is they are edit tools main menu is very important uh maybe blank curve maybe clean up okay and i'm sure you don't use the point cloud it's it's uh, we rarely use it okay and then from to view so as you can see you can clean it up and you can reach to your command much faster okay so by clicking on this small uh, rectangle, you can reach to your main and important commands in uh, edit tools, okay? So uh, when we try other, uh, when, when we try another menu uh, surface, we see that we have the same discipline here. So if I is a start with uh, parametric, okay? So as you can see, they are parametric and then we have creation so as you know they are creation commands okay start with planes extrude waft i'm sure i change my extrude uh command extrude uh, icon here because uh by default it's not here it's maybe a place uh, like here okay i think before patch or after patch i'm not sure but i change it because uh i, I use it a lot so Plane, extrude, loft, sweep, including sweep one and sweep two, revolve, including re revolve and revolve, curve network, corner points, edge curves, planner curves, point grid, patch, drape, and uh, height fold from images. Okay, so uh, this is creation part. Okay, and then we have edit parts. Okay, start with. Uh, extend the surface again and end with edge tools okay so if you want to modify your surface if you want to do clean up feel it chamfer or you know you want to do offset you want to go you have to go to edit tools edge tools if you want to uh, uh, check your edge you can see you can find here okay so it's really really easy okay so i mean that uh yeah because you can find show edges you know here you can find merge edges split edge it's really easy to find it okay or even you want to see you can see uh, rebuild uv uh, uh set surface tangency uh on trim you can find in edit okay so as you can see i really love the placement and arrangement of metric school ribbon bar is really easy to find your um, wanted command is really easy okay again we have in solid as you can see we have creation and then we have edit so it starts with parametric commands and then we have creation part and then we have edit part in solid so again right okay we can consider and the here until here is as we can consider to if we can find rip okay so we did they are creation okay so we create solid right okay and then you have edit okay we have edit tools right edit edge okay wire cut shell fillet edge cap planner extract surface they are edit okay so tools and then we can uh, uh, continue like that we can memorize it like this okay we can remember is like this so here the same so when you go to the curve is a selection of the commands but now for example if you can see again for creation for creation we have less common we have less command but uh, you know that m maybe we want to use another type of arc maybe we want to use another type uh, type of interpolated curve okay and also uh, when we go to the other uh, when we go to the to next floor 
we will find uh, maybe we find okay sorry we go to level three we'll find continue or curve but they are creation so as you can see uh, the uh, the the, align, the arrangement of the matrix code uh, command is much more better and i really like it and i can say that even if you like uh some uh, if you need your selection easily easy it is really easy you just go to the curve and then you can add it right you can add it uh whatever you want okay you can add it so you have your selection and for example you can put your curves on the top and then you can put your surfaces uh, and uh, i can say that maybe in a design we just use maybe roughly as an estimation, we just use 20 to 20 to 30 commands, not more than that. Okay, so we can select them, these 20 to 25 or 30 commands here as a quick command, and easy is much easier than uh, Matrix 9. Okay, so so this is the main menu and then we have uh, the quick commands that you can see copy uh, edit points control points mirror uh, move rotate exploit join split and trim and ring rail so we have the same in quick command is the, uh, the, the quick command is mix of uh, can be mix of um, uh, the most important commands. So they are the most important commands too that we use okay so in in command uh, at least one time we do move at least one time we do rotate explore join you know but i'm sure as a professional uh, i'm sure that most of you uh, they are professional designer and you will um, uh, you you would uh, uh, make your own keyboard shortcuts for the most uh, important comments like join trim and uh, uh, split explode move rotate and you don't go to uh, you don't go to uh, click you don't go you, you don't run it by clicking okay i'm sure about that okay so great let's go to display part so display uh we start here so we have many displays options okay as you can see matrix now it has it has many many uh different uh, uh, display option so we have the same here so let me move them up move them up okay and then you move it up so you can see your display modes okay that's uh, most of them we have some of them uh, the uh, gemvision company made by itself okay so for example detect uv uh, normal de de detect uh, naked edge okay this is they made it by changing in uh, display options so it's nice but some of them we don't have it okay but we can make by ourselves if you're interested i will teach in the next uh, in, in another video okay great on the right, on the left side, we can see uh, the gem view and surface view. That's one of the most, um, one of the very important comments in uh, for jewelry designers. Gem view and very helpful, very very super super helpful. Gem view and surface view that you can find in view. Okay, so if you go to the to view in ribbon bar, you can see surface view and gem view. Okay surface view and gem view okay but these three parts we don't have uh, i mean that one two three these three okay shaded selection preview shade and show contours because uh, the the uh, the uh, the way that uh, that in metric school shows the contours is completely different from metrics nine so we don't have these options because they are related to uh, the objects that we create okay we don't have it but about that that you can delete uh, your grids okay maybe you like it to learn how to do it so it's really easy you just you can type properties or you need to control t and then you have your properties panel you go to uh you go to display and each report you can turn off your grid and c point access okay so if you want to delete you just need to grid grid okay and then you can delete in each viewport okay so it's really really easy so but if you want to do it in um in all reports okay so you have to type grid 
and you have to you have to change apply to own reports and then show grid no you can see so you can turn off and turn on it okay so again i'm sure as a professional designer you know how to make your shortcut to do it in aliases or in keyboard shortcut you can do it or even you can make a new a new uh, uh, a new icon for that so it's really easy to do that i will again i will show you how to make it soon okay great so so it so about the grid option you can do like that okay let's go to here so we have an option for uh for the mesh okay we have option here for mesh so as you know uh, some things that you create in nerves modeling for showing they have to be changed to mesh you cannot see this mesh but but behind the scene it's changed to mesh so if you want to do that if you want to get a super fine mesh in matrix code you have to type options again okay you have to type options and you need to go to mesh you need to go to mesh and then you can change it if you want to smooth and slower you have to go for that if you want to jag and faster you have to go that but the custom uh, uh, custom is uh, the most preferred one so i really recommend you i recommend you don't change it because it's sometimes not always make your computer laggy and in when you have a very uh, high density object in your scene maybe playing with that uh, it's uh, you know it's annoying be become annoying for you okay so i don't recommend to change it okay i always use this kind this the default setting okay or medium mesh I, I i don't go for that okay so uh great uh so uh, just 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 one thing in display mode when you turn off your display mode it's automatically it shows wireframe but in metrics code you uh, when you have to click on wireframe from display modes or you right click on viewport tab and type on wireframe or shaded or any display modes that you decide uh, to have it okay great so let me open it oops very good so let's go for here so we reach to uh, snaps or object snaps we have two kind of snaps object snap and grid snap that you can find here okay so in object snaps you can see the icons you cannot see the uh, names under them or above them or anything but here we can see the name so and uh, we can see the middle one center quad near point intersection tangent and uh, perpendicular right but we can find the complete list as uh, uh, as uh, uh, i'm sure you know that this is not a complete list but in metrics code we have the complete one so if i click on my object snap um, and i turn it on i can find my object snaps here so i have end near point middle center intersection perpendicular tangent quad not vertex project and disable and you can see that the project is object snap okay so this is the same object snap and we have grid snap that you can turn it on and off so we have the same where is the grid snap the grid snap is here so we, you have to turn it on and then you have 0 0.4, 0, uh, 0 0.1 0 0.25 0 0.5 and one millimeter so it snaps on your grid uh, on your grid uh, in uh, 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 according to the numbers that you selected okay so this is grid snap great and then we have here so as you can see this is project so where is the project here so is this an object snap okay uh, just a moment alt control D okay so this is object snap okay here project okay and we have planner so the planner is here so you can turn on and off planner here okay 
Very good. Great. And then you have Urto is here. Okay, Urto is here. You can find your... So, we have three things at the end of... Uh, at left, okay, in, uh, on left, uh, near Urto. It's between uh, on poly surface and on surface, okay? You cannot find it here. In your report if you look at it you cannot find it okay so how can i do that so l let me let me because now my m marker is on so let me show you the planner so object snap or so and grade snap okay you can find it here okay or even you can find it here okay they are the same because this is status bar okay so what are that what are what are these three what are these three commands what are these three between uh, uh, on poly surface and on surface. They are object snaps, but we call it one shot snaps. How you can turn them on? You just need to uh, click. You just need to hold your control and move your mouse on, uh, 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 on your object snap and you can find it. So you can see um, you on surface, on poly surface, and we have uh, we have uh, persist on curve, on persist on surface, and persist on poly surface. They are very complete, uh, complete uh, um, uh, uh, parts. I mean that complete version uh, comparing to Matrix Nine because in Matrix Nine we have just three of them, but here when I when when I cl uh, when I click on the control I can find all of them. That are that they are super helpful modeling aids. I really like it. I um, I really enjoyed when I work with that. Okay, we work with them. It's really amazing. But if you if you already if you have uh, your object snaps uh, in your Matrix Nine because because by default you don't have it. You have to in options you have to turn it uh, turn on your status bar here let me show you options if you go to if you go to appearance okay and click on the status bar okay uh, you will have this status bar and then you just click to object snap and you will you will have them here also if you click on control you will you will find them okay but you will see the uh, you will see a uh, more complete version in matrix 9 because matrix uh, matrix gold because in matrix gold we use Ma uh, rhino 7 so in rhino 7 we have more options okay great so what about info and setting so we start from here we have rhino options we have to type it here okay so if you click if you want to find it you have to type options okay type just type options and then you will you will go to your rhino options okay if you want to object properties you just need to uh, this is the properties panel you should control t Okay, so we will have it. Just control T or just type properties. So if you don't have it, you just type properties. Very good. Uh, object info. Okay, so what is object info? It's a, it's a kind of dot. So if I make a solid, if I click on that and then uh, and, and they click there. I, I I have some things like that. Okay, we have a we have a small version here. So let me click. Okay. So if I have my solid, okay. So if I click on that, okay. Let me delete here. Okay. Let me change the color, for example, and then. I change it to the render. So we have the same here, okay? Properties, we have the same here, okay? So it's telling you more information about the weight, material, layer, count, and what is it? Is a closed surface. So we have the same here, very good. So the next one is the next one is all object info, okay? All object info that it shows you a panel 
uh, paper panel and shows all information. How, how, how we can find it here? You just control T, you just go to details and then you have them, okay? You have all information about object description, okay? The same. Very good. Great. So this is ob uh, details or object description. Okay. And then we have, uh, we have this one command history. Okay. That you can do F2. If, if we click on F2, we can command history. Okay. So we have it here. Old command history. Very good. And we have uh, project notes. Honestly, I couldn't find the project notes in metrics code, but please, if you, if you know it's available, please uh, comment and write for me so I can, uh, I can tell, uh, so um, uh, the viewers and uh, the people who watch this video, they will uh, notice about that. But, but, but I couldn't find it any project notes. We have Rhino notes. We have it here. So if I go, if I click on that, we have uh, notes, 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 notes. Oops, sorry. Yeah, notes. So we have notes here, but I, I'm not sure this is the same as project notes. I'm not sure about that. So if if you know that they are the same, so it's great. It would be great. Okay. And we have super select. Where is super select? Super select is here. So as you know, the super select uh, recognize all objects in your viewport and then select and then uh, align for you, arrange for you, and you can select them. Okay, for example, select all surfaces. And it's, it's one of the easiest way for selection. So it's really helpful. So it's here. Okay, so it's here. Very good. And let's go here. Okay, report tabs, you can turn them on and off. So the command is report tab, but we don't need to turn them on and off. Okay, report, uh, report tabs, they are here. Okay, hide, show and hide if you want. Okay, if you want align them uh, and something like that, if you, can, you can change them, layout. Okay, you can do it like that, but we don't need to do that. Okay, great. And we have display menu. The same is, uh, is show, it, it's control your display. Okay, control T. And this is display. If you don't have it, you just click on gear and turn it on display. So in this, you can control, for example, you don't want a surface ISO curve, you can delete them. You don't want surface edge, you can turn them on, off, and you can do a lot of things. Okay, you don't want your mesh wires it's uh, uh, annoying for your eyes. You can turn down, you can turn them on and off. You can, as I told you, grid Z axis. If you need your Z axis, you can turn it on and off. Okay. So this is uh, uh, viewports properties. Okay. Uh, if you like box edits, uh, that I really love it. I teach to my students always. Okay. So you can find it here, box edit, the same. Okay. Panel, box edit. You just click on this gear and then turn it on, box gear. That helps you to uh, move, rotate, scale your object easily. It's really helpful. We have uh, library menu, the same, control T again, and we have library menu. Okay, we can reach it here. We have filter, filter selection. Okay, selection filter, sorry. So, but we don't have here, actually, we have to, but as you know, Rhino 7 has sub D, so it's automatically turned on because for choosing the sub D edges, uh, uh, you need them, okay? And uh, you can go to here, or you can type it, it's much more easier. Okay, filter selection, filter selection filter, <laughs> sorry. You can have it a selection filter. Okay, you can you can find it. You can play with that. Okay, so this is good because when you have some uh, some uh, different uh, object types, for example, you don't want to select. Uh, you don't want to select. You just need to. You want to select just curves. Okay, uh, so you, you can select just. Uh, sorry, you can select just curves. Oops. 
okay you just select just curves and you cannot select anything uh, in your in your scene so it's really good because as i told you in sub d uh, when we want to just select the sub d object just select edge you know we need it okay great so this is selection filter very good and then we have design reports okay the same that we have in tools we have tech report just change the name tech report and design report they are the same but much more faster easier and more details and i really like it okay so about this history uh, uh as you know as mo most of you know uh most of you know that in metrics in metrics 9 we had two kind two different kind of history rhino history and matrix gold uh, matrix 9 history that you can find in some of the comments for example uh, in um, when you click on sweep one you can see that if i right click i have sweep one history this history is different from rhino history okay this is matrix history is is, is, is works separately okay so even if your Rhino history went off, uh, were, were off, you will have matrix history, okay? So this is controlled Rhino history, okay? And uh, they are controlled matrix history. So they are completely different for ones who use uh, matrix. Uh, and you can see that this icon, a very small uh, rotational, red, uh, yellow rotation uh, icon refer to matrix history. Uh, yeah, but in matrix eight, uh if you remember we had uh, an uh, we have icons okay matrix one history and matrix two history but now they come combined together and we have left click metric a uh, sweep one history and right click sweep one uh, uh, uh oh sorry left click sweep one normal history rhino history uh, and right click sweep one matrix history they are completely different okay we have some command that you can notice they are in curve even we had uh, i can remember yeah we have a from two view and from two view with with, uh, with matrix history they are super powerful i really love it i really love it some of them okay so even you know that if you shift and right click you can oh sorry shift and right click you can add more comments it just be right you can see you can add you can find more comment and you can add it right so in curves you will find all comments that you can find it here right i'm sure you know about it okay great very good and you can uh, align them and arrange arrange them same same metrics nine uh, metrics gold okay great so uh design so uh, so they, they are metrics uh, we don't have we don't have metrics history we have parametric okay we have the advanced part we have advanced version that we call parametric so the, the comments with the lighting bulbs is the same as the command that we have this icon but in a very uh, uh, professional and advanced way okay but this is rhino history so if you want to turn on rhino history you just need to go down here record history you can see if you click on that or right click you can see that record history update children lock children and broken history warning you can turn them on and off you just need to do right click on that okay great so uh, this is i explained already okay great what about the gumball so as you uh, 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 uh so you know that this is the turn, turn on and turn off your gumball so we have the same here turn off and turn on your gumball but we have uh, two more icons that actually align your gumball and relocate your gumball okay so we have the same if you click on this small uh, uh small square here and you, if you click on that you will find uh relocate reset gumball okay relocate or align it okay you can find it so they they, they do the same okay they do the same uh, so this is gumball alignment that is uh your uh, aligned to your view align your c plane your world and your object and uh, this is relocate gumball that you can change the location of your gumball okay and is turn it on and off great and we have layers that you can see we have uh, 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 optional layers that you can turn it on and on unnecessary ones and then necessary and um, we have the same here okay we have layers 
okay we have layers that you can find it here okay so we have uh, we have them okay metal the object users you can put on that okay right very good the difference is that uh, they have names but uh, here in metric school they don't have any names okay so for example hats you don't have any names in that finger you don't have any names okay projects projects okay so this is the project and this is the manager ones okay so comparing metrics a to metrics now you can see that they have many improvements okay uh, in metrics uh, metrics now comparing to metrics eight we have the same in metrics goal in metrics goal we have amazing we have amazing uh, improvements that helps you to m to manage your files that helps you to um, uh, you know I really love it honestly I really love it you can change your uh, the um, uh, the way of your uh, um, uh, thumbnails okay it's really amazing you can find in your explorer so if you find uh, you, you you can reach to them easily okay and uh, you can control it just show full savers show job bags okay show all and even you can uh, add your customer in um, uh, in much easier way as your design you can uh, define its uh, status is really is really lovely you will have your own collections okay so you can reach your command in a faster way okay and penders, pearls. I, I'm sure you know that it's really important in our job. So if my customer uh, uh, sit beside me and ask me, Momo, can I see uh, pearl, your pearl design? Can I see your um, uh, illusion setting designs? If I, uh, if I name them correctly, I can find it in a very fast way. It's amazing. I really love it. Okay. So here we have uh, we have just manage uh, we have just uh, management and we don't have any collection right uh, actually we have in metrics uh, in metrics goal in metrics nine uh, we have collection here okay user library okay so we have here so if you want to reach to your is a kind of collection I can say that collection that you can manage them that you can find your own design so but we have the we have uh, advanced one in metrics 9 in metrics code i m m i really like it i it, when, when i compare and i play with that i found it uh, much more easier okay great so and even you can add it okay in metrics code in metrics code we can add in a much more easier okay so uh, but uh, the, one of the difference about uh, the job bank, uh, the project is that in metric school we have two kind of uh, saving method, job bank or and full save. In job bank you need to select is a kind of export, but in full save you can save everything. So, okay, you can save everything in your file. Okay, so if you have a hidden file, if you have lock file, lock object, if you have a hidden object you can select as uh, you can save everything uh, i i prefer to save in job bag but it's completely up to you if you want to save in full save you can full uh, you can save in full save and also they have some differences about the parametric status of your object so if you want to keep keep all the features of your parametric options i recommend use full save not job bag ones okay so if you use the parametric one okay great so and then uh, and then, um, uh, so you know that if, for example, if I click on some comment, for example, James one, we have some options here. Okay, so in metrics nine, if you click on that and move, right click on gray part, and you move it up, you can reach your uh, a panel at the end of at the end uh, part of uh, uh, at the at, at the bottom part on left panel and you can find your gem you can define your size the same we have the same we have here okay just you need to let me close uh, here just you need to click on gems okay and then you can see here let me move them up before that let me move them up okay in dynamic comments okay so if you if if i click on gem you you can I, I i see the same i will encounter 
the same. You can define your the cut shape, you can define your shape, you can define your size, size list, okay, and then you can click on these and then you can change it. So you have the same. But because they have parametric issue, uh, they, have, they have parametric uh, feature, so it's, uh, it's completely different from Matrix 9. But just playing five times, I think five times, six times, when you play with that, you completely understand them. Okay, you you can see that no, it's not difficult. It's, it's, it's really easy and even even much more easier than Matrix Matrix Nine because uh, they completely rearrange them. They completely uh, correct their names, the functions. Okay, and um, it's, it's really uh, works better. Okay, great. So I think it's finished. Let me check. Okay, so let me click. Let me close it. Let me go here. And yeah, yeah, we talk about everything. Just the only things we uh, I need to talk about that is that uh, how to arrange these panels. Because, for example, uh, we use uh, we use quick commands. Uh, we use a pro but but we're, uh, but every fifteen minutes or twenty minutes we use the project. So, what what what, what would happen if I mix I uh, I mix these projects to click my quick command? So you just need to click and go to the center one, and then you mix them together. So now I have more uh, more. Uh, uh, a place more space for working uh, and adding uh, to my quick commands and if I go into projects I go to projects and I do the same so what about the what about the layers okay so I just click on my layers okay and then click and then I mix it with my display modes okay so is when I want to go to display modes I use like that when I go to layers I do like that but <laughs> honestly I sometimes I'm lazy to go that so what did I do I ju you 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 just need to uh, go to your aliases and uh, define your own way to show your viewport and changing uh, show your object and changing your display modes is much more easier to go here and click on uh, for example shaded you click on that so I highly recommend you to do that okay you do the same rate uh, we use dynamic groups rarely but we use dynamic commands in um, uh, uh, always often okay we often uh, we, we often we use uh, dynamic commands okay and recent commands so we you have more space about this okay so it's really really good so I think I come I explained everything for you so I hope this video helps you to migrate to metrics code uh, easier and faster and I just I just recommend that uh, for just one week or ten days you forget about your metrics line and then you will find that you cannot work with your matrix line anymore and just you want to work with your matrix code so this is my recommendation just uh, just uh, just stick uh, to matrix goal and uh, the try to think that you don't have any matrix you don't have matrix sign anymore and that's it and finally you will love it okay thank you for watching